In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my techniques on how to remove these wall strips in a mobile home and go from this to this. I'll be sharing a step-by-step -step guide on what I do to remove the strips and to smooth out these walls. The first step is to remove the strips. I'm using a small putty knife to score each side of the strip. You can also use a blade of some sort, whatever you prefer. These particular strips have been painted over numerous times. If they haven't been painted over in your place, it'll be a lot easier to remove the strips. Just be patient and take your time and use safety while using the putty knife or blade. Just work your way down the whole entire strip. Now I will continue on to the second strip. Now that I've gotten the strips down, I'm going to start taping the lines. I'm using a mesh tape. I like using the mesh tape instead of the paper tape. I have used both and I find that it's easier for me to joint compound over the mesh tape. And the end result, I have a smoother surface after using the mesh tape. Now that the tape is up, I will start joint compounding all of the lines. When you apply your first coat, you want to start with a smaller putty knife. The more coats you put on, the larger your putty knife will get. You also want to apply very thin layers every time that you're putting the joint compound on. If you put the joint compound on too thick, you will get cracks the next day. I do try to smooth it out as I go. The smoother you can make it as you're applying it, the easier it will be for you the next day day when you go in to lightly sand it before applying the next coat. I find this process to be therapeutic. It does take patience and a little bit of time. This is the second day. It has dried overnight and I'm now going to lightly sand all of the lines. Now that it's sanded, I take a larger putty knife, this is a 10 inch, and I apply the second coat of joint compound. I always start at the top and work my way down, smoothing out the lines as I go. The larger the tool, the easier it is to get smooth lines. Also something I want to point out is that you go out a little wider each application. So the first line of joint compound was pretty small. And the second one here, you want to go out even wider than that line so that you are starting to form that smooth surface.
This is my third and final application. So as you can see, it goes on really smooth and you want to keep going out a little wider with every single coat. After your last coat, you can choose to retexture the whole entire wall area. If you already have smooth walls and you can get this smooth enough to blend well, you wouldn't need to retexture everything. This is after my third application. After it has dried and you have sanded all the lines, you can now prime the lines with a primer paint. You want to use a primer before painting everything because this is new drywall. This compound will absorb any kind of paint that you put in there. I personally did three coats of the priming paint over the course of a couple of days. And this is what it looks like after all the lines are primed. This is the primer paint that I used, which I bought at Lowe's. Once you prime everything, go ahead and paint the whole entire wall. I used white, and I had to do multiple coats of white paint to cover the seams. I was happy with the result. I did end up adding some detailing halfway up the wall. With these finishing touches, this really completes a homey feel. It doesn't even feel like you're in a mobile home. I hope you enjoyed watching my process through the project. If you would, please subscribe and hit that like button.